My name is Johnny Lake and this is the Great British Chef's Signature Series. This grill here is quite central to all the cooking at Trivet. We wanted something that was quite versatile and quite open, quite simple. Over the kind of two and a half years that we've been open, I think we have learned our style of cooking and this is a very good representation of it. Every year we do have a pigeon dish on. It's a very nice meat. My first three Michelin star restaurant experience, there was pigeon on the menu and I ordered it, having never eaten pigeon before. And that's kind of always stayed with me. My name is Johnny Lake. Uh, we're at Trivet Restaurant and I'm going to show you how we make our pigeon and persimmon dish. I think the thing I love about this pigeon and persimmon dish is the way uh, that we use the persimmon in a very savory way. So what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to slice it. This one is a khaki fruit, so it's a bit harder, you know, a bit firmer. The Sharon fruit or the persimmon can be very, very soft. We use those to make this uh, puree. So we literally just take the incredibly soft persimmon, put them in the blender, blitz them smooth, and season it with some aged Banyuls vinegar and some wild white pepper. And that's going to bring another element, kind of a sweet sour kind of thing to the dish. Now we're just going to season it with a small amount of smoked olive oil. This is a, a made product which is fantastic. It's a Spanish Arbequina olive oil that's, that's smoked. We use it in quite a number of different dishes. So this is a, like a wild white pepper, which is quite special, very floral, very aromatic. So we're just gonna take them, these now and just kind of put them just over our fire, just gently kind of cook while we're preparing the rest of the dish. This is just a plain wild rice. We are just gonna put it into a dry pan, keep it moving and it should just start to puff on its own. You don't want it to burn, you just want them to, to pop. You know, if you, if you get it too hot, you're gonna get a kind of really bitter flavor there, which you don't want. So we've made a mix of the confit leg meat from the pigeon, some spices, and some persimmon puree. We've then pressed that into a tray and let it set overnight. We then cut those into kind of battens and we're gonna pan it uh, with some rice flour, some egg yolk, and some puffed wild rice. We're gonna use the wild rice instead of breadcrumbs. It's gonna give us a much crunchier texture and a much kind of more nutty flavor. And then just before we serve the dish, we will fry this quite quickly and crisp it right up. So this crown now has been brining overnight in a milk, yogurt and salt brine. And I've just kind of been warming it gently in and around this fire. I'm just gonna get the coals very, very hot. There's not a lot of fat on this bird. The skin is quite thin, so we need high heat very quickly. These bellows here were a real artisan made piece of equipment that was a kind of gift to the restaurant when we opened, really beautiful. Take the pigeon, hold it firmly by the back there, and I'm just going to put it straight down into the coals, close as I can get to it without touching it, and it should quite quickly start to brown up. The meat of the pigeon is so kind of deep, dark color, and you, you get like the contrast against the charred skin is quite nice. One last bit I'm going to just quickly flash on the grill here is the, is the heart, in which we cooked already, confit, and we're just gonna finish it on the grill. The pigeon now, we've, uh, we've breasted it, so we just need to remove the breast from the crown. The way the pigeons are reared, there's a lot of blood in the meat. If you overcook it, it's gonna become quite livery. It's not very nice, so it needs to be quite pink. So with the persimmon that's just been kind of on the indirect heat here, just checking seasoning and just making sure it's warmed enough so the texture is kind of a little soft but still has bite. I'm just finishing everything with this same uh, wild white pepper, some coarse salt. So we're just going to start the plating with the slices of persimmon with the uh, smoked olive oil. 
And here we've got uh, variegated kale, which is like kind of just different colored kale, and some heritage carrots that have been cooked in a spice butter. Okay. And the kale's lovely, nice texture, slightly bitter, but kind of balances out everything else with the sweetness of the persimmon. So I've got the pigeon breasts now. I've just brushed them with a spiced oil. Persimmon puree. And this is our, our pigeon sauce made with the roasted trim from the pigeon bones. So I kind of just try to just get it on the, the flesh and I try to leave the skin as dry as possible. We've done all that work to kind of get a nice crisp skin. And we finish with the fried croquette that we made earlier. This is my pigeon with persimmon.